Hey there, guys. We're back with some more, uh... <laughs> I had to think about it that for a second. Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshef of... Destruction. <laughs> there we go, I got it. Okay, in this episode, we're gonna try to duel Tristan. See what he has to say for himself. Oh, can we duel the dog? Let's talk to the dog. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, Tristan. You want to duel me? Sure thing! Let's do! But if you lose the duel, you lose your card! <laughs> I'm Tristan. Alright, let's duel let's duel Tristan Timothy Taylor. I doubt his deck's strong at all. Like cause yeah 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 300. Like especially like it's uh It's basically canon that Tristan can't duel. Uh, especially if you watch any, any of the Virtual World arc, or, well, not, even if you skip that arc, you can see that Tristan's more of a, uh, it's more of a hands-on kind of guy, not really strategic, and that's cool, man. We, we're all different here, so. Alright. Magician of Bait. Alright. Nothing wrong with being hands-on, Tristan. I guess after this, we'll try to see if we can duel Grandpa or Yugi or Joey, so. Which, I don't know how that's gonna work, but. Uh, let's use your effects. Yeah. There you go. And we'll just attack like normal. Bad. New Kuwanu. Bumblebee Tuna. Alright, Tristan. Your amoeba has gone. Oh, he finally got a water monster to counter my fire. I see. Well, let's tribute this. And let's summon Peacock. Very good. Alright, Orbit Jar, get him. Alright, and my turn. Ooh, nothing, Tristan? Ooh, not looking good for you, buddy. I've got a tribute monster on the field, and I just drew into Thunder Key at Kaminari Kozo. See ya, bet. Looks like your batter's up, because my peacock's attacking your life points directly. Thunder Shock. Definitely nice to have another one of those. I doubt we'll get a good card from Tristan, but, yeah, you know. Uh, capacity increased by one. Five domino? Oh, dude, you are not worth it at all. I mean, I guess Tomasaurus is okay, but a small dinosaur that is utterly fearless and ferocious is known to squabble and fight with others. If you're ever in the mood for competition, you know where to find me. <laughs> oh, really, bro? Really? Really? Uh, okay, Tristan. Well, that didn't take four or five episodes, so that's good, I guess. Okay, let's go for number nine here. All right, I guess let's see if we can duel Grandpa or Yugi or Joey. So, hello, good to see you. Oh, okay, now nah. nah, we're good, Gramps. Uh, no, 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 sorry. See, ya. thank you very much. Ho, ho, ho. All right, Joey, do you want to duel? Yes, you want to get on? Oh man, this might be very, very tough. Especially if he gets, you know, baby the way again. It's my turn. Oh, did you hear that? He actually voiced. There's voice acting in this game. First time I've heard that. Okay, uh, Cyber Commander, you're up. What you got, Joe? Oh my god. 1200 defense? Uh, what is this? It's a light, so I need a shadow. Holy smokes, Joseph, holy smokes. Uh, yeah, we might. Oh, 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 the voice acting. I like it. Well, he does have only 500 attack, though. That's his. Yeah. You should have that thing in defense mode, bro. I'm just saying. Um, so let me check the types here. Uh, wait, wasn't... Uh, oh, yes, yeah, Cyber Commander was Dreams, too. Okay, so Starboid is... We gotta, we gotta get him while he's not in defense mode, so... All right, Joey. Yeah, my turn, yeah. Defense mode, that's what I like to see, Joe. Okay, and apparently he can't handle a water monster right now, so let's just... You know. Oh, another one, bro? But you can only have three of those in your deck, so... I'll just have to bait it out with some kind of attack. Yeah. Battle warrior, he fights with his bare hands. <laughs> oh, man, Joey. 
Um, I took Earth. Earth, Earth, Earth. Well, I can do this, Joseph. So I will tribute. As much as I don't like leaving myself open like this. Uh, Leogan or Doma? Hmm. I'm thinking Doma. He seems to have a lot of these Swordsmen of Land Stars, so... Yeah, maybe Doma's the better call here. Because Shadow can be light, so... Yeah. I like the voice acting, though. Aw, oh, bro. Time to let go. Well, at least this thing's in attack mode now. Jeez. Ah, uh, Joey, you just had to get a dream monster, huh? Hmm, well, I don't know Time Wizard's effect either, so... Um... Hmm. Maybe I should... Do this. Okay. Um... We're actually gonna attack Time Wizard, because I don't know if... Like, if he plays Baby Dragon, I don't know if he can age it in this game with its effect or not. Uh, either way, I don't want to risk it. Yay. Kage Musha, bro. Can you calm down? That's a pretty solid attack, though. 800? That's the best we've seen out of him so far. Uh, okay. Well, this works. We got Weather Control for this. Yeah. And we can beckon to the dark that, uh, Kage Musha, so... See ya, Kagamusha. Man, he took our tribute out right away, bro. All right. Yeah, the type advantage, man, it's just, it's, it was a tough call. I was just like, man, do I go Leo Gun? Do I go this? Like, yeah, it's, it's hard to know which one you should choose, honestly. Um, I'll do this for the effect. Okay. Honestly, maybe I should have kept that. It is a shadow. Okay. Yeah, he didn't have another Swordsman of Landstar, so... Alright, Joe. Mm. Good, good, okay. I was getting ready to say we might be left with no monsters here, but no, we're okay. Um, Phantom Dewan? I'm surprised he couldn't beat Weather Control, but... Ah, oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> so Joey has like... A lot of it, some of his monsters, okay, it's like 50-50, 50-50. Some of them just purely suck. The other ones are a thousand defense or more. So it's, it's just, and the other ones are time wizard, of course. So it's just, you never know what you're gonna get out of Joey. So pretty weird, pretty weird. All right. I feel pretty good about having three monsters on the field though. All right, yeah, it's my turn. There's the dream monster. Okay. All right, Joseph. Let's see. Um, well, we can just beat Time Wizard on pure stats, so let's do that. I was thinking, I was like, eh, maybe I should tribute, but no. No, this guy, he probably has something that can get a type advantage, so I'd rather um, not tribute out Leogan until I know, like, okay, you know, he's all out of, uh, what's good against Leogan? Earth? Just be like, yeah, he's all out of, uh, wind or whatever. See, there was an aqua. Okay. Alright. I know what. Good, good. Mm-hmm. See ya, Arm Ninja. But see, yeah, if you're summoning weak stuff like Arm Ninja, I can handle you, Joey, but, uh... Psh. Those Swordsmen of Landstar it makes me very scared about you, so... Justifiably so, I would say. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get through his monster here. Drollbird? Good, good. Okay, so we'll tribute, uh... How much damage do we need? 1750? Oh man, I goofed. We, we could have played uh, Tau Ward there and just won. Eh, it's fine. We'll just summon Petite. Dree. <laughs> Alright, you got an extra turn, Joey. I've messed up. Yes, you look son. Yeah, defend those life points. Defend those life points, buddy. Alright, we got this guy. <sighs> Not gonna make it easy, are you, Joe? Okay, I'll tribute this for Leogan. He just had to have another one of these. Jeez. Oh, man. I feel like we barely won that one. My goodness. 
capacity increased by one for that? You gotta be kidding me. <gasps> Time wizard. Ooh. An enchanted clock that has the power to transform baby dragons and dark magicians on the player's own field. Ooh. Uh, yeah. You're doing okay, I think. Ooh. Very good. Thanks, Joey. That's actually a pretty good card. So let's check that out. Let's go to our deck. Um, let's go by sort by attack. So I'm, I'm probably going to put Time Wizard in regardless. If nothing else, it's good because of its type. Uh, we'll try to work in its effect later, but yeah, that's a great... I'm sure that's a great drop. Um, so let's get rid of... Um, let's get rid of... I think we can get rid of... Um, we can get rid of this, honestly. I know it has an effect, but its stats are pretty low. Yeah, so we'll get rid of that. Okay. Trunk. And we'll put in Time Wizard. <laughs> Which, like, I don't even know why I'm putting it in now, but, you know, I, I just want it, man. Time Wizard's cool. Time Wizard is good. Uh, so, yeah, let's put it in the deck. Here we go. What? I can't put it in? Are you kidding? This takes capacity? Uh, it only costs 29. What? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my deck is full. Whoops. Hang on. No wonder it won't let me put it in. I didn't take a card out. Uh, see ya, hang, hang. Okay. Now we'll try Time Wizard in. There we go. Phew. I was just like, there's no way that I can't put that in. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe they could give it extra deck cost to affect monsters. You never know. You never know, man. Alright, but with all that being done, our uh, duelist level is at 86 now, and our deck capacity is at 1642, so we're growing, we're growing. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, let's say it, sure. In case I lose against uh, Yugi or whoever else I can fight. Alright. And honestly, like, I don't know how the duel versus Yugi is going to go, or even if he will duel us. Um, but for the rest of this episode, we're just going to duel the people down here, because they seem to be, you know, giving us worthwhile cards like Thunder Kid, Time Wizard. Sure, let's check out how our decks are shaping up. And, like, I have no idea how tough Yugi's going to be, so... But we'll try him, we'll try him. You know. Oh, we go first, sweet. Um... Kind of one. Defense? Okay, we got one tribute, so... Oh, and you be speaking now. Ooh, yeah, your man eater bug's not good enough, you. Eh. All right. Ooh, and we got a fire. Sweet. All right, I think I'll leave. Oh. Nicely played, Yugi. Nicely played. Yeah, Yugi does like using combinations of cards, so. Okay. What you got, you? We'll attack first here. Nice. Oh, what? For really? He has Skull Serpent, Joey. Yugi Skull Serpent, Joey. Joey's got, like, you know what? I'm gonna play, uh. <laughs> Joey's like, you know what? I'm gonna play. Wait, didn't I take this card out of my deck? Uh, I thought I did. Oh, maybe I did that, uh. Maybe I did that in the episode with the train. Okay, well, I need to remember to take this card out. Whoops. Um, yeah. Uh, weird. But it's so weird, yeah, going from uh, Yugi. I mean, Joey to Yugi, you know. Uh, let's play Doma. There we go. Yeah, because, yeah, like, Joey's, like, got the Swordsman of Landstar, you know, high defense. Like, I mean... Normally, like, Yugi plays in the anime, he plays stuff like Big Shield Gardener, you know, Mystical Elf, Giant Soldier of Stone, some of the Magnet Warriors have good defense. Like, I would normally expect high defense from Yugi and not necessarily Joey, but, uh, for whatever reason in this game, they kind of reversed it, so that's, I don't know. I don't know if I like that change or not. Or maybe, like, maybe Yugi's deck gets, like, a lot better later, you know? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know everything about this game, so. Alright. Let's just attack. Ancient drop. There's no way Yugi should be this easy. Oh, wait! Maybe later, after he gets the puzzle? Yami Yugi. 
is the one with the high, you know. That does make sense now that I mention it. Yami Yugi is the one who normally does all the heavy lifting, so at least for a little while. Until Yugi becomes a much better duelist. So Yeah, I I should have thought of that. Exodi! Oh no. Is that what his strategy is? He has an Exodia deck in this one? Uh increase by one. Right arm of the forbid oh Okay. One of the five limbs of Exodia, the Forbidden Monster. If all five cards are gathered in the hand of the player, he or she wins. Looks like you're doing things right. Okay, Yugi. Okay. Um, and honestly, Yugi seemed pretty easy there, so... Uh, like I said, we're just going to stay down here to conclude the episode. Let's save on state three. There we go, in case I run out of time. And uh, yeah, let's get that horse out of the deck. Um, oh no, maybe that's what I thought of. That's why the horse is in the deck, I just realized, because, um, yeah, I tried switching it out for the cannon soldier, but it didn't work. So I think I put it back in, yeah. That's why it's in. But yeah, let's, this really is kind of a bad tribute monster, so let's put that in the trunk. Yeah, because that'll give me, let me count my tribute monsters here. Um, one, so Doma, one, uh, one, two, Leogun, count my tributes, three, and then four, five, four, uh, yeah, Beast of, yeah, I think five is, you know, passable, uh, we'll go to the trunk, and we'll throw in, um, Surface by Attack, we'll just throw in something high, um, Still can't put this in, though. No, no. I'm gonna check every now and then, though. Uh, eventually, we will be able to put Cannon Soldier in. Uh, let's just Starboy it up. Okay. All right, Yugi. Time to go again. That was pretty easy, so... Actually, maybe I should duel... Maybe I should duel Duke. He seemed to give a better card, or Joey. Mm, I don't know if we have enough time though for like an actual, like a good duel, so. Yugi, you're up. Yeah. I mean, maybe that was a fluke. Maybe he just, uh, you know. Maybe this time the heart of the cards will be on the side, who knows. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna assume that's Eatabagoon, buddy, so. Okay, and this is a Earth, a pretty low level Earth. Uh, We'll just go with, we have two Hainawa, and like whenever you see that in your hand, I would encourage you to do the same, you know, if you have like two of the same type, go ahead and, go ahead and throw one down, because like, you know, if you get defeated by type effectiveness, then, uh, oh boy, oh, nice combo, you yeah, if you get defeated by type effectiveness, or by like a magic card there, then, uh, yeah, you don't have to worry, because you have the other type in hand, so. Uh, now, I don't know what force is good against. Is it good against Earth? I don't know, so... No, wait, force is good against wind, right? Yeah, I know it should be okay. It's good against wind, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember, guys. You should be proud of me. That might be Edebagoon. Ah, we got Lightning Conjure, I'm not worried. Nice. Alright, we'll set uh, this. I feel like this is better to tribute Lightning Conjure. 750 defense. Book of. Oh. Okay. Exodia? It's not possible. No one's ever been able to summon him. I did not expect to see Exodia beat down, but uh, all right, you, all right. There you go. <laughs> see you, Exodia. Say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> that was cool. I guess that's his strategy in this game is to like do Exodia beat down. Pretty weird strategy, but uh. Hey, for all I know, I mean, this game is so weird with some of its mechanics. Maybe that's how you summon Exodia in this game. You have to have, like, all five pieces of the puzzle, but on the field. That would be insane. But I guess with, like, something like Swords of Revealing Light, 
Oh, Mushroom Man, bro. Well, something like Swords were really light, I suppose you could pull it off, but, you know. Uh, Thunder Kid, you're up. All right, Peacock. Stretch your... Shake your tail feathers. Stretch your stuff. All right, Yugi. I'm winning, buddy. I'm winning, and I got a Tribute Monster on field. Yeah, you ain't got no fires. Thank God. Right now. Um... Let's just go with weather control, whether you like it or not, Yugi. Skull Servant, see ya. Ooh, big damage coming, Yugi. Where's your Karibo? Where's your Karibo, huh? Where's your Karibo to reflect the damage, buddy? I don't even think Karibo has an effect in this game. Although, although it's really funny in this game, is uh, Multiply is actually pretty busted. Um, because I think you can tribute the tokens in this game, which is pretty funny. Because normally you can't tribute them or tribute summons, but in this game, I think you can. Uh, what do we get this time? Ooh, not a bad card. Okay. One of the five limbs of Exodia, the Forbidden Monster. If all five... Yeah, he wins. Or she. Man, 137? Looks like you're doing things right. Can I put Exodia in my deck? Uh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, let's remove, um, yeah, let's go by attack points. Yeah, Exodia is honestly not bad. Like, I know I was kind of mocking Yugi for the Exodia beatdown thing, but, uh, um, let's take out this spider. I mean, I doubt I have the capacity for it, but, um, go to trunk, Exodia. Details. Right, right. Can I wait? Cost 137. I doubt I'll be able to put this in. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Um. So what did I take out? Like the. Uh, I took out the spider. Uh, let's just go to attack points. Put something in here. So let's put in flame dancer. There we go. I wonder how much the Exodia pieces sell for, though. Or maybe I should try to collect them all. Uh, yeah. Sell cards. Because, like, normally Grandpa won't offer you much. Like, see right here, he'll offer... Like, let's say I sold him... Oh, wait, wait. This is, like, to buy cards, right? Oh, no, it is to sell. So, like, let's say I sold him this. Like, he would only take, uh, 29. Uh, how much would you take if I sold you an Exodia piece? Oh, you'll take 322 for Cannon Soldier. That's actually really good. Oh, for this, you'll take a uh, 274, Grandpa? And for this, you'll take 132. Oh, okay. Yuki might be good to farm for, like, Domino in this game, maybe? Or we just got really lucky. Um, well, I don't know. I'll consider that. I'll consider, maybe if I get duplicate pieces, I'll start selling them to Grandpa so we have the extra Domino. Thank you very much. Ho, ho, ho. And you still don't have any new cards, right? I doubt you've changed your sh shop since... Oh, there's Dark Magician. Yeah, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. A sinister spellcaster that possesses both power and defense. It is among the best of all the magicians. Yeah, and check it out. Like, this game was made so, 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 so long ago. But this uh, Dark Magician actually ha is the tablet version. Uh, for the longest time, this version with the, uh, you know, Dark Magician with the, uh, uh, you know, the Pharaoh's uh, memory tablet behind it was not in the uh, TTG. But uh, it was in this game for the longest time. So that's kind of crazy to think about. But... Uh, I don't remember seeing that in here before, though. You got any new cards, Grandpa? I mean, I doubt it, but... Oh, you do have some new ones. Uh, let's see what these do. Right. Hold on. Powers up a female warrior. That seems familiar. Powers up fairies. Okay. Uh, what is this? Is this uni zombie? Oh, yeah. Three-legged zombies, yeah. He... <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. I'm getting distracted. Do you have any spells and traps that are native, buddy? That's what I need to know. And man eater bug doesn't have an effect, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I think he still has all the same stuff, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, still the same stuff. It's just, uh, wow, why would this cost so much? Does this have an effect or something? Uh, can... Man of a magician. Not particularly strong. Wow, why is this card 880 domino? Jeez, this game is harsh, bro. If a card like this week 
is 880. That's that's harsh. Oh, and check out Dark Elf. 12,760 domino for this. A black-hearted elf that loves to fight above all else. It can be a troublesome enemy if it gets a chance to strike first. Yeah, cost 319? Holy crap, bro. Okay. Well, anyway, I think I've done enough looking around. Uh, that's going to end it for this, these, uh, this recording session. So, yeah. Uh, before I forget, I'm just going to go back here and save and heal. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys have been enjoying these episodes. Alright, I'm having fun doing them. Um, with that being said, like, the part with the train coming up, I'll, I'll be quite frank with you guys, it is kind of tough with just your starting deck. So, I might, um, well, we'll give, we'll give the train, train event, like, we'll give it a shot, we'll give it a ride, you know what I mean? And if we can't clear it for some reason, I will definitely go back to probably duel, you know, those guys like we we'll either dual people to increase our deck capacity by three that were easy that we found early on or we'll you know try to get, you know duel against yugi try to get some money you know sell and buy better cards or we'll uh try against joey and joey and uh, duke seem to give us the best cards so you know whichever way it goes maybe we can get baby dragon from joey if we try hard enough that would be a pretty good combo but uh uh, yeah, that's the plan. So we'll we'll give it a we'll give it the good old college try next episode as far as the main story, and there's a chance we might not get past it. So if we don't, you know, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna start grinding already in this game. So all right, that's the plan. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye. Have a good day.